Okay, I'm gonna tell you a little story right now. Yes, it is a story of nearly one of the greatest upsets in volleyball history, in my opinion. But I realized that the lessons learned from this particular story are much more valuable to a player, to a coach, to a teammate, than the story is entertaining itself. Okay, picture this. You and your partner have finally climbed to the top of the totem pole and are reigning open champs of beach volleyball in Hawaii. You can't really believe it because you're still in high school, but you and your partner have worked your asses off for this. But of course, as fate would have it, your partner gets hurt. Broken toe. And it's the morning of the tournament. Game over. But you still kind of want to play. Your brother, Madison, 16 years old, already has a partner. Checkmate. It's over. But then an idea starts to form. You realize that not all hope is lost. You realize that for the past four years, you've been inadvertently training this particular individual for this exact moment. And he's sitting right over there, eating a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch. His name is Jameson. He's seven years old. Oh, nice. That's great, sir. Jameson, we're playing in this tournament. Me and you. Wait, what? Okay. I distinctly remember not even posing it as a question. Jameson was playing in this tournament whether he liked it or not. So I called the tournament director, tell him of my new partner upgrade at the time I was playing with Triborn, but that's a story for another time. My first seed ranking dropped to very last, understandably so given our cumulative age was 25 years old. So we head into the tournament and we draw the three seed right away. All right. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. So funny. One game, 25, rally scoring. To start off, the guys nice are nice set. enough to serve me the majority of the balls. I mean, I am playing with a second grader. However, we've trained him well. He can rip a float serve. And although he's not yet strong enough to set, he's got a solid platform he can use to pass set and dig. Right up, way up high. That's a boy. That's one. Nice set, James. A. We somehow find ourselves only down by five points late in the game, 15-20, and side out to make it 16-20. Yay, a point. I'm dead. I'm exhausted. Riley, you look a little winded. You okay? I've never had this amount of responsibility on the court ever. I'm not only trying to pass the whole court, but I have to pass perfect, and I have to pass it low so it's easier for little Jameson to set. I'm also running up to block every time, but I also have to drop a lot because I can't rely on a seven-year-old to cover the back court, let alone pick up a high line shot. We just couldn't cover enough court. Suffice to say, it was not looking good for us. I was on the line. <laughs> But what we do have going for us is this nice swirly wind that makes my jump serve great on both sides of the court. So I go back to serve. Okay, big point here, we need a big one. Nice oh, nice Hello. serve, Riley. Fire off one ace, make it 17-20. All right. Hit another jump serve. Just trickles over the net, so lucky, 18-20. Building up a little bit of momentum. At this point, we have nothing to lose. Toss up another jump serve, serve the guy to his sideline, and his partner overruns it. Oh my gosh. 1920, are you kidding me? There we go. Oh! Jameson, right on, huh? Score is 20 all. That was my mom again. Here we go, baby. Get ready to dig a ball, okay? Here we go. At this point, I'm not even aiming anymore. Coming. Oh. Five aces in a row. We take the lead. 21-20. They side out, I have to call a timeout. I'm exhausted. <laughs> timeout by the boys. Hey, Jamesy, come go, go get drink water, yeah? Now, the team starts going after Jameson. Oh, you gotta set him up. Oh, right. Oh. Oh. Now it's just a race to 25. Here we go, boys. Out. 
Is it on or out? 22 all. GMT series. <laughs> hey. He goes, did you look at it, Randy? Randy looked at it, he goes, yeah, I was on. This is my spy. Oh, it's got it. Oh. Ooh, got it. Couple missed serves, couple side outs. They go up 24-22. It's not looking good. Game ball, yeah, 20. Here you go, babe. Right up, way up high. That's a boy. That's one. Nice set, James. We somehow side out 24 23, and I go back to serve again. Okay, score is 23 24. Game is 25. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. 24 all. Another raise. I can't believe it, 24 all. We actually have a shot at winning this thing. I cannot believe what is going on right now. Timeout by the bad guys. Timeout, and the score is 24 all. The score is 24 all. Come on, Rouse. Couple of aces. Here we go. Okay, right there. Ooh. Good eye. On the next play, I tell Jameson, Jameson, serve the guy on the right. I'm gonna block line. You hang in the angle and then chase down the high line. He's gonna hit it right to you. Go! Oh! Oh, he just misses it. He just misses it. We're there. I think they're gonna try and serve Jamesy. Nope, they're gonna serve short. And up, and it's way off. Oh! We end up losing a tight one, 27-25. Heartbreaker. But what is this story really about? Maybe this story is about focus and attention to detail. Playing with a seven year old requires you to be a bit more precise, and the aim small, miss small mentality often gets forgotten when you're playing with a fast, athletic 6'5 monster who can chase down all of your shanks if need be. It made me realize that I do have another level of precision, and imagine if you always approach the game with that heightened attention to detail. Maybe this story is about how to be a great partner. I found myself constantly asking myself, what can I do to bring the most out of my partner? Lots and lots of encouragement, strategic game planning, increased communication. I realized that if I can instill enough confidence in a seven-year-old, it might give us a fighter's chance to overcome impossible odds. Or maybe this story is about something more. Playing with a seven-year-old reminded me that it's not always about wins and losses. It reminded me of the value of falling in love with a sport like volleyball, while also understanding the fragility of a moment like this for a little kid and how it can shape and affect his path. Pavilion, ace service again, McKibben. Great serve from Jamison McKibben. Volleyball has given me so much. It plucked me out of a tiny island in the middle of the Pacific and gave me the opportunity to play in college. Goes cross court and hit down easily that time by McKibben. To play in Italy. <laughs> Playing Greece with my brother Madison. <laughs> it's taken me around the world to places I would have never imagined visiting and introduced me to some of my best friends, many of which don't even speak English. Sto registrando i miei ultimi giorni in San Giustino. Ciao Lucia! Ciao Maggie! And as I look back on the people who shaped my journey and my career, I feel nothing but gratitude for those who took the time to not only teach me the game, but more importantly, instilled confidence within me who encouraged me to believe in myself. Confidence is one of, if not the most powerful force in sports, period. With it, an average player can become great. Without it, even the most talented will crumble. And I think even at an early age, Madison and I subconsciously or not understood this. As kids, we were both responsible for building each other up and tearing each other down. And by the time Jameson rolled around, we recognized how valuable yet fragile confidence can be. Competition is just one aspect of sports. 
The wins and losses columns are but a fraction of what sports have to offer. But it all starts with confidence. So the next time you take to the sand or step out onto the court, or call a timeout to talk to your team, I hope you remember this story. Co-captain, just a sophomore, he'll be joined by his brother Madison, a 6'4 outside hitter who's signed to play for the Trojans next year. We've already heard him talking about his nine-year-old brother Jameson, who may be the best of the McKibben bunch. Here comes Madison McKibben, so the two McKibben brothers are on the floor. Madison McKibben out of Punahou, as is his older brother, and Madison will serve. Three, a 6'3 sophomore, Madison McKibben. Number four, a 6'3 senior, Riley McKibben. How's it? I'm Riley McKibben, sophomore setter from Honolulu, Hawaii, and I have a nine-year-old brother, Jameson, who is unreal at volleyball.